When we first entered this journey, it was because I wanted flexibility to be a part-time stay-at-home mom and, and work around his travel schedule. And you know, when we decide to make the climb to take it to the next level, it, it reels you back in a little bit and takes a little bit of your freedom. It really was a, a, it was a switch that turned when we hired our first employee uh, and all of a sudden, holy cow, somebody's now relying on you to pay their bills. You're going to come across obstacles that you don't expect. If you're not going to, you know, pivot to find your way around the obstacle or over the obstacle, whatever it is, then, then maybe the journey isn't right for you right now. But if you're going to find a way to make it work, um, you, then you're going to pivot. It's a radical pivot from just growing here inside the Philadelphia area. And that includes not only uh, the development of an app, but also seeking outside capital and developing a, a regional and a national marketing plan. When you talk to entrepreneurs, they I think often they say, um, well, this is my why. And, and what we have found, at least on our journey, is that that why continues to evolve as the business evolves. And we have a team of nine employees. We've been doing this for 10 years, but it, it's still very real to us that we can always learn. And, and that's part of that is, is, is opportunities to, to keep each other in check, but keep our egos in check.